In this video, I have sopping wet hair. This is crazy. This will blow your mind. So this is the third video I've done on the awesome PlayStation 5 we did an unboxing. I did my review and today I'm going to be talking about some different points from the PlayStation 5 world of what's going on out there and I'm going to be talking about how I found my Series S versus my PlayStation 5. I'm going to tell you guys what PS5 gave games I've been playing and what I think about them hmm, and what I'm looking forward to. There's also going to be some kind of channel updates in this video so sit back, stay tuned and enjoy. So over the past couple of weeks then the PlayStation 5 has sold out globally. You can get it nowhere at its retail value. If consoles come back into stock they tend to go out of stock within seconds of them going live on websites i think it's a little bit unfortunate that websites like best buy if you're in the us or over here like curry's they cannot handle the traffic so i think something needs to be done to really account for the market and the flow of people wanting to buy consoles moving forward because it's shambolic you sat in a queue with thousands of people and you get to maybe a few hundred in the queue and then wham everything's sold out it really is an absolute nightmare on top of that we've been seeing like people selling consoles on facebook marketplace ebay spock for thousands and thousands now my opinion is this if people want to pay a thousand pound let's just say we'll use that figure a thousand pound for a ps5 console that is their prerogative would i pay a thousand pound for a console absolutely no way i managed to get mine on launch at retail for 450 pound which is the disc version of the playstation 5. now looking at it from the other side is it cheeky for people to put them online for thousands and thousands of pounds? Absolutely. Is there anything that can be done to prevent that? No. I bet eBay are sat there rubbing their greasy little mitts at everybody buying these consoles and eBay taking their commission. I don't actually think there's anything that can be done about it. There's this argument that people think it should be illegal. I don't necessarily think any laws are being broken, but I think it's a moral issue within the gaming world. And it's a damn shame and it's you know i wish sony would have made enough ps5s for everybody to enjoy at launch but unfortunately they didn't now they have came out and they've said you know we're going to have more ps5s in before christmas how much of that is true i don't know but i'll give you a little tip off here if you're in the united kingdom my friend which is where i got my playstation 5 from he owns console yourself which is a game shop in yorkshire and he told me that he is getting some more in stock so type into facebook console yourself give them a follow maybe give them a message I, he's not asked me to mention this i'm choosing to mention it because i think together we can give out little tips like that and avoid these nasty little scalpers making ridiculous amounts of profit so another thing that's come to my attention i'm just going to give a shout out to british video game nerd over on Twitter, he tagged me in something. <clears throat> this is crazy. This will blow your mind. People are selling photos of the PlayStation 5 for hundreds of pounds on eBay. And people are bidding on these because if you look at the title of the, I don't know, the, the kind of the ad, you can be easily mistaken that it is just a PlayStation 5. But if you read it, it's photo only so people are buying these people are bidding now that to me should be that's even more morally wrong it's not illegal because you know it does say in the title photo only but the pure cheek of these scalpers i understand people want to make money but surely there's a more ethical way let's not exploit the playstation 5 or the series x or the s um, i'm sure there's been scalpers over in the xbox camp as well so be careful guys lots of scalpers about make sure you do your research because these things will come back in stock and don't fall for any nasty tricks so as you guys know i also did an unboxing of the xbox series s Again, I chose the S and I feel I need to repeat myself because if people keep coming at me on social media, I chose the Series S because the Xbox is not my primary console. So I'm happy with my Game Pass Ultimate 
and my Series S console. I also have an Xbox One X for any of the spillover disc games that aren't on the Series S or on Game Pass. So that's why I've got an S. Now that came out here in the UK a week before the PS5. So I got a week with that and I, I liked it. I really did like it when you turn it on. Nothing really feels overly different other than me having to utilize my phone to log into my account. I've never done that with Xbox before. So it was a new feature to me, not necessarily a brand new feature. The interface and the UI looked pretty much the same. Everything was ported over from my previous Xbox accounts, you know, and my color palette, which is pink. So everything just looked the same and I was pretty happy with it. I, I bought my Game Pass and I downloaded some games and I sat and enjoyed the games. Then the PS5 came out and everything just feels completely new from the ground up, including the design, which I have commented on in my review. I would have liked to have seen, at the very least, a little bit more from the Series S controller because I feel like I'm playing with my, my PS5, particularly on Astros, and it just feels revolutionary. It feels like that 3D haptic, beautiful, you know, controller. The friction on the triggers is remarkable. Admittedly, it's not on every single game for the PS5. That's what needs to be improved but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more from the Series S controller. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more from Xbox's UI. I've always found it quite clunky back on when the Xbox One came out. They did streamline it, but unfortunately it doesn't feel to me as sleek, I think is the word, as sleek as the PlayStation 4 and now the PlayStation 5 interface. So I do love my Series S. I am going to be continue to be playing that. I'm looking forward to State of Decay 3. I like Sea of Thieves, although again, I find that a little bit clunky, but the PS5 and I think the launch games on the PS5 have just helped to enrich the PlayStation 5 much more in this kind of early couple of weeks of its lifespan. And apparently sales are through the roof. So I think sometimes volume is spoken in numbers. So what PlayStation 5 games have I been playing? I've put the majority of my time into Demon's Souls and Astros. Let's talk about Astros first and foremost. Astros is pretty much a tutorial for, for you to get you know, to grips, so to speak, with the DualSense controller. I'm gonna go for 100% purely because there's so much PlayStation um, ecosystem and culture within Astros that it's hard not to go back to it. So I completed it, and once I'd completed it, it said I'd done only done 25% of the game. So yesterday I hopped back in for a couple of hours, and I'm now nearing 60% complete. Even my dog's very happy about Astros, thank you, Molly. So you go into the PlayStation Lab. So this is the area that's exclusive of the Astro levels. And once you complete and you collect different artifacts within the levels, these artifacts begin to show in the PlayStation Lab. And if you've grown up with the PlayStation like I have, all of the different peripherals and consoles are there. And there's little Easter eggs, like there's a little Spyro running around on one of the tables with some of the Astro bots. And it just drips. It melts with PlayStation charm. So much so that you, like my mind is like right i need to 100 percent this this has to be a 100 percent game and i'm gonna do it and it's not revolutionary by any stretch of the imagination but it also just gives me that chance to jump back in and feel that glorious dual sense haptic 3d controller again so that's astros demon souls i did dive into much more of that again yesterday i reached the second boss and I got him down to about a third of his health, and then unfortunately, he died. Now, you can pick your class of character at the start of Demon's Souls. I really love to dice with magic in RPGs. So my character is like a mage, magician-y kind of character, and I felt that on the bosses in particular, using the kind of wand with the magic powers, particularly the fire effect, is really powerful compared to any general melee attack that I already have. So I've been utilizing that and that seems to be effective in really knocking bosses energies down. So I've died lots, 
but it's great when you die because you learn and you kind of get a feel for what's coming and what's not coming. So I, I feel now I can get to the second boss in Demon Souls and beat it comfortably. I know how much um, magic I'm gonna need, so I can just keep farming some souls, going back to the Nexus, buying like my little top-ups so I've got enough magic to replenish myself for the boss. So that's kind of where I'm at with Demon Souls. Now I have played Bug Snacks and I've played Sackboy. I haven't played any of the Spider-Man games that are on my PlayStation 5 yet. Bug Snacks I really struggled with, but to be fair, I didn't put enough time into it. I was wanting to dive into Bug Snacks and be immediately like, wow, this is revolutionary. Didn't feel that. The same felt for Sackboy. Um, it looks beautiful, but it just didn't grab me like I wanted it to. You know, something like Astro's Playroom grabs you pretty quickly. And I don't know if that's the lack of functionality with the haptics in the controllers, because it seems like the controller shines best with Astro's. We're yet to see it, I'm yet to see it shine in any other game. So maybe that's what it was. I think they want to watch, and I think there's a lot to come from the PlayStation 5 camp, and I am super excited. Speaking of super excited, Within the next couple of weeks, in fact two weeks today, Cyberpunk 2077 drops. And that for me is the thing I'm looking forward to now. I mean, we're gonna get it, we're gonna free update for next gen, but unfortunately the patch for next gen isn't gonna be coming out till 2021. So I'm gonna be playing it probably through on my pro. I'm gonna be streaming Cyberpunk right here if you guys want to tune in and subscribe for that. But then next year I'll get to enjoy it again with the beautiful brand new next gen patch so highlighted ray tracing um increased frame st rate stability you know lots of additional things to look forward to and for me cyberpunk has got that replay value because there are three different paths you can take from the outset so you get like this street punk character there's this corporate character and i've forgotten what the, the, the third one is but I think, you know, you can play through that game three times and there's going to be lots of DLC for it as well. That's my little prediction because it's CD Projekt Red, let's face it. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I want to know what you guys are looking forward to as well with your PlayStation 5s or with your Xboxes because I think it's time to unite. No more of the kind of like fangirlism or fanboyism. Um, let's unite. Both consoles are great. Both have advantages and disadvantages. Over to you in the comment section. So just as a little channel update then, some of the shops are gonna be opening here over the next couple of weeks. So there might be a five pound PS4 game challenge. How many games can I buy for 10 pounds? Maybe we'll see some PS5 games floating around and I wonder how much they're gonna be costing. Also, if you're new here, I've updated sponsor badges. If you guys wanna become a channel member for £1.99 a month, click the link in the description. It will say sponsor. Everything else you need to know, you can kind of read from there. You don't even need to click yes, I wanna join. But subscribing is always free. So thank you so much. We're gonna roll out now and every single channel sponsor is listed in every video. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next episode. My name is Jana, take care. See you soon.